this one, this portion of it is ungainly compared to this portion of the bike. Is it like Johnny Bravo? Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Too much of upper body, exactly. not enough lower body. <laughs> Okay. Yes, Baske. We have waxed eloquently about this yeah. for a good 20 minutes. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so now it is time to head to head. Head to head, yeah. Ashton uh, Kata bitwa. Disclaimer, we are used to this for <laughs> I'm used to the Eastern for 23,000. You are used to it for 32,000. 32, yeah. So with that disclaimer, we are going to make a compare. <laughs> we start with the looks. What yeah. do you think about the looks? You prefer how this looks? Yes. It's like neat, much more. The lines are very good and it's pleasing on the eyes. This one, this portion of it is ungainly compared to this portion of the bike. Is it like Johnny Bravo? Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Too much of upper body, exactly. not enough lower body. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I, I agree. I fully agree with you. Okay. Looks. Yeah. I... Go with, oh, even uh, you with your choice. Okay. I like uh, how this looks. Okay. I, I observed the other, another thing as well. You know, when we had stopped at the restaurant for breakfast, you were getting more eyeballs than me. People okay. were just saying balls to this and <laughs> looking at you. <laughs> yes. So this is something, the new kid on the block. New kid on the block. Okay. Yeah. So this looks better. better. The posture, the stance, everything is steps ahead of this. True. Okay. Next. Riding comfort. Riding comfort. <laughs> It is it the V-Storm, very relaxed, composed, open-chested. And as I said earlier, it can also be the muscle memory. Mm -hmm. But therein, given a choice, I'd be more comfortable on this. That It resembled more of my FZ1 and the Interceptor days. Because even there, you have a bit of a forward lunge and your knees are a bit curled back. It's okay to do an odd day of 700-800 kilometers, but to do consistently over four or five days, the V-Storm. For you, Baski. I would choose the V-Storm. Like I mentioned in the first ride review of this, what I would change on this, yeah. bring up the console, console a bit, yeah. the windscreen, windscreen a bit, a up, bit. Yeah. bring the pegs a bit forward. Yes. That would make it the V-Storm. So <laughs> <laughs> it is the V-Storm for you. So again, it is, this is very specific. It is not because I am used to it. I enjoy this. I am more comfortable with my feet a little more, sole a little more parallel. This is a bit... Yeah, it's a little bit more, yeah. This way. Raked up. I have to... Really look down to read the the console. Console. Yeah, you have to take your eye off, which Whereas for me on, in India on is not this a great it's thing. a it's a it's a quick glance. Maybe I have to yeah. just glance down by about twenty degrees. True. Here I have to look down by thirty or thirty yeah, degrees. It's much down. more than that. Yes. So yes, riding comfort posture. It's a waist strong. Waist strong. Was for it. Okay. Yep. And on the ride comfort, one more important aspect. This gave out some heat. Engine heat. I could feel it. Tandoori thighs. Tandoori thighs. <laughs> This doesn't give out any heat. I think the heat management system on the V-Storm is streets ahead, yeah. even though it's a 20-year-old design. Yeah. It is streets ahead compared to that. Again, uh, what I feel is it's a tri-cylinder. It is what it is. It mm. comes with the baggage of heat. More combustion cycles. The engine is also, it's a, it's a inline. Yeah, inline. Inline three. three cylinders this way. Yeah. This is a wheel this way. Yeah. So maybe somehow, for some reason, the heat seems to go away in a different route compared to this. This seems to be giving out a little bit of heat. Yes. So on hot summer days in slow traffic, yeah, this can radiate. I had that with my tiger that used to roast my... <laughs> Thais? <laughs> but nothing compares to the Harley Davidson. Before the tiger, I had a Harley leg piece tandoori. <laughs> Kalmi kebab. Kalmi kebab. <laughs> roast extra. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Harley. <laughs> but yes, that's a fact. It's a fact. <laughs> Number Point three. three. Engine characteristic, behavior, performance. As I was asking you the question, I was asking it to myself. I was struggling for an answer. I'll, I'll attempt to answer that question. This is more of you wake up. There are days wherein you have that mad rush. And the, and those are the days you would love that engine. And on few on the days where you are you want to be calm, sedate, this is the engine. Now the question that you're going to ask yourself is how many days you experience that mad rush that goes by your nature as a human being. So for me, I think, yeah, I would prefer it sedate. So I go with the V-Storm engine. How about you? 
very smart. <laughs> it's a choice. Mm. What do I want from my motorcycle engine? Yeah. How do I want it to respond to me, my inputs, which I do sometimes very consciously. Yeah. Sometimes sleep unconsciously, keep riding and just doing so. Yeah. The wisdom. This characteristic, like you said, it's more about how I feel in the morning. Yeah. You feel wacky on some days, I know. That's yes. why you don't ride with me. <laughs> this characteristic is what I would enjoy on most of the days. True. This I would enjoy on, on a random day. Yeah. Since I can have only one, I rather take something that I can enjoy on most of the days. Exactly. So that's that's the that's me as well. That's the engine. Yeah, that's the okay. engine part. Okay. Yeah. So now then, uh, handling behavior of the motorcycle on all kinds of this thing in traffic on bad road on good road the flickability the everything the overall handling part that's a bit smarter no second thoughts this shows its age in the sense that it's a bit bulky i understand your spec sheets say it is 206 and this is uh, 216 yeah 216 yeah, two two matter of 10 kilos but Feels the way that has been packaged is much better than this. So I'd go for the handling on that motorcycle any given day. Baskei. When it comes to handling, I choose this. Have it's, you been similar? Yeah, Do we need to have this video going forth? <laughs> <laughs> Might as well, now that we have started it. Yes. <laughs> so this feels lighter, sharper, flickable, yes. easier. Once, once in a way, if I'm in a bit of a mood, mm. I want to do this yeah. in the traffic, I can do it with this. Not with that. <laughs> that would probably be that. <laughs> it won't. Yeah. This can this can come back up. So yes, uh, pure handling characteristic mm. which I enjoy more fun. Nimble. Yeah, I, I agree. So, so the next one, yeah, is maintenance. I've had a Tiger for five years, and I've had the V-Storm now for three and a half years. And it's a well-known fact that European brands cost a bit more than their Japanese counterparts. But you've experienced yeah. it, so let's hear from the horse's mouth. Yeah, the brand uh, Suzuki is uh, cheaper to service and maintain. The labor bills, parts cost, the accessories, consumables, whatnot. Definitely cheaper than uh, on the Triumph. And this has been around for decades. So I'm sure the things don't cost as much as the European brands which change uh, model and uh, design and uh, once in three years once in two every years three years yeah uh, ktm maybe every year wow. <laughs> at least triumphs and they do it once in three years uh, triumphs and the italians the japanese mm -hmm. take about five seven years before they change anything on their motorcycle <laughs> so that's the reason why they are uh, cheaper to own yeah. mileage both are about the same so i guess the gas mileage doesn't really matter this gives around 24 to 26 this has given us 25 today yeah i think so, if you you know go in an economy more possibly yeah. it might add a couple of kilometers yeah. more that's about yeah. it yeah. but again you don't buy these motorcycles to eke out the maximum mileage what's buy. next features value for money value for money i think we'll pick value for money value for money Matching, yeah. Bang for the buck. Bang for the buck, yeah. So that's like 11.8. Yeah. And this should be around, around hovering the around the yeah. same. I think 11.6. 11.6. Yeah. On road price, they're about the same. Yeah. On road, they are, they go head to head. So which one, Bosky, do you think is a more value for money? Feature wise, they were almost same. I don't think so. That has riding modes. This doesn't. This have. got traction control. This got traction it's control. It's probably where you in the same. It. Yeah. It's got zero traction. Traction control off. Yeah, you can uh, turn it off. One and two. One and two. Yes. Yeah. That's about it. That's about it. This has got the rain mode and the uh, road mode. Yeah. Technically the same. Package in a different, different way. way. So that way. Other than that, I don't see any major uh, difference in the in the features. How would you pick? I would go by the reliability then. Okay. Yeah. Reliability. Japanese. Japanese. We don't need to say anything more. <laughs> you can watch the first and the second part of the video. Yeah, we have made uh, three videos on the V-Strom ownership. We have covered most of the aspects. To put it in a food sense, this is a vanilla ice cream, mm. like I always say. Plain, simple, mm. tasty, can't go wrong. Yeah. This is hot chocolate fudge. If the chocolate sauce is not at the right temperature, <laughs> it's not going to taste good. True, true. However, the right temperature vanilla ice cream and the right temperature hot chocolate sauce, <laughs> <laughs> nothing to beat that. <laughs> okay, okay. No, but so, I, I would encourage you to watch the first and second video. So it gives you a fair bit of what we mean by reliability 
So it's a tough call, it's a choice, mm. it's a personal choice. What one wants from the motorcycle, what type of riding one does and yes. what gives the thrill, the joy, the peace, the satisfaction of motorcycling. Quite different, similar price, mm. similar size, height, weight, all close. The purpose is slightly different. different yeah. That's about the comparison. You could ride both, ride it extensively, ride it about 10 kilometers minimum. Mm. Minimum 10, depending on where you stay, which city, which town, if there are test ride motorcycles available or not. Understand experience. I suggest you do it multiple times, not just one round, one round. Yes. Decide. Different times of the day, different yes. kind of traffic. Do it back to back. True. That's the best comparison. Each day, one feels a bit different. Some days we are chirpy, some days we are not. Mm. So on a chirpy day, try both. Exactly. On a dull, sleepy day, try both. Mm. Then you can make the choice. That would turn up to be the best choice in the long run. I agree, Baske. The buyer here should be more sensible with what he wants, what he expects, and then make the decision. Both motorcycles are equally good. Just that, you know, we've ridden this a little bit more. We have a better idea about it. So the reliability factor scores in high. So that's it for today. We had a good time. I hope you did too. Please yes. let us know what you think about these motorcycles and if mm. you have any experience using them, if you own any of them, please share your views. Thank exactly. you. Till next time. Thank you for joining Busky and me on this ride today. And we'll get back to you with more videos. Do watch the space and leave your comments. Thank you. Mutton, mutton, mutton. Yeah, my jaw, walking guy.